guys, welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to a brand new video. I am currently baking in tan right now because tonight I've also got my outfit ready. I'm going out and I never go out anymore. I used to go out all the time back in my singleton university days. Ah, but now I just don't like it to be completely honest i'm not a fan of nights out um but tonight's a little bit different tom is away he's in london at the football so he is gone anyway i've got the house to myself and it is my friend's birthday so we're gonna go out for a nice dinner and drinks keep it local we're only going to somewhere in my village anyway so it's nice and chilled i'm gonna wear this opoly dress I'll maybe show you my outfit later on. This is so soft, I've yet to wear it, so I cannot wait to wear that. But yeah, I'm gonna do a bit of a get ready with me on a night out type situation, which is rare, like I said. So I'll do a full process of how I get ready, get ready with me later on tonight. So I'm gonna be showing you how I cleanse my face, apply my makeup, how I do my hair, and then Tom will be back tomorrow, so we'll probably just, depending on what time he gets back, just have a nice, chilled, cosy, relaxed Sunday because I'm thinking he's probably going to be a bit hungover. I probably not so much because I don't really drink. I have a couple, but that's about it. So I never get like drunk or hungover anymore. When I do have a night out, even if it's not that late, I do like the next morning to have a nice, cho cosy day. Cosy day. I was going to say cosy and then chilled. Chosy, chosy day. And I think I'm just gonna have a browse in a, another village near us where there are some charity shops because I wanna do a bit of a thrift with me autumnal style video. And whilst I'm there, there is a big TK Maxx as well. And someone tagged me, if you're watching, you know who you are. Someone tagged me on my Instagram home account saying that they found the cereal magazine, which is what I was after. And I love the, like, the aesthetic of it. They found it in TK Maxx for $1.99. So I'm gonna go see if our local one has it in. I'm doubting it will, but you know. Matalan Home's there as well. Well, Matalan slash Matalan Home is there as well. I'm gonna see if they've got any seasonal bits in. Yeah, we'll have a quick browse around the shops this morning, but then straight back home to start getting ready. I mean, like I said, stage one is already done with a tan. I'm just gonna wear some loose comfy clothes, not really put anything on my makeup. Oh, it, in fact, it looks like I have a bit of makeup on. All I have is a flick of mascara and this contour thing which I used. Let me just get it so you can see. It's by James Reed. I have featured it in a video before and it's the Tantor palette which has two shades in it, a highlighting and a contour shade. And the reason why I've put this on is because it has built in natural tanner. So the contour that I've applied where I would want my contour bronzer is um, a powder formula which actually gradually builds up a bit of tan so uh yeah if that makes sense if I remove it there'll still be a little build up of tan on there so that's a good product to try if you haven't already so I hope you enjoy this little weekend vlog with me thumbs up if you do stick around and subscribe if you haven't already it means so so much to me I have lots of autumnal and seasonal and festive content coming your way over the next couple of months and let's get on with this weekend vlog okay first stop TK Maxx just spotted this coat, that's nice. 89.99 DKNY. Too early probably. Anyway, let's head on upstairs to the homeware, the best place. I gotta tell you something I could do. I could be running or I'm chasing you. But I won't Cause I got better, better things to do I just spent my precious time They don't have the cereal But this is what made me think of the cereal magazine in the first place But it's cereal or kinfolk is the other one that I was thinking of If uh, your local TK Maxx has it in Please let me know Make me jealous <laughs> I feel like a really easy way to transition your home To make it feel more autumnal or seasonal Whatever the season may be is to get a throw. I can't really see many autumnal ones. I guess that mustard one up there is quite autumnal. Um, but none here that I particularly love. I feel like these are a bit more Christmassy. Still no sign of autumn mugs. I mean, there are a couple. 
but they're like really naff ones. These are quite cute. How much are these? Little teapots. $5.99, that's pretty good. I like the little like rattan handle on it. I've never seen these pumpkins in here before. They're actually scented. Sugar pie pumpkin, they've got like a little bag, a scented bag on the inside and it smells pretty good. But I'm not really a fan of the pearlescent finish, so I'm gonna leave that. But I think I'm gonna get this for some kind of a display. Um, with some potpourri on a tray or something. I think that could look quite nice or some other white pillar candles next to it And it smells pretty good too. So as you can see just parked outside Matalan now And I just thought I'd show you the two that I did end up picking up this one at $6.99 This pumpkin I saw the other day and really regretted not buying I love the like bronze kind of tone to it as you guys may or may not if you don't know my style I'm very much of the browns the earthy tones and fabrics the golds um so i'm avoiding like the colorful and the silver ones and i'm going with the more warm toned pumpkins so i picked up that this is the olivia blake uh cinnamon bark and white ginger reed diffuser this is the only sort of seasonal one i found oh my god cinnamon and ginger yum so that is what i picked up from tk maxx now let's head into matalan and see what they have Wow, are all of these colours not the most autumnal things you've ever seen? I think so. They've got so many different like cosy knits and cardigans. I love this colour. Oh, actually, that's really soft. This one's cute, a little bit different, more of like an aztec -y print. How much is it? £14. Definitely not warm enough for this yet, but £35 for a teddy coat. That is so affordable. I love that colour, that rich, rusty kind of burnt orange colour. So, so nice. Okay, home section. This is what I'm here for. They actually have a load of empty shelves. I wonder if they're about to put out a load of autumnal stuff. Probably gonna have to come back next week to check that out. If I had like the space at the end of a bed, I think this is like a little ottoman is nice. Good storage. They have baubles. Oh my God, how pretty is this? <gasps> Eight pounds, it lights up and it's got beige feathers in it. It is huge. I cannot wait for Christmas in Matalan. They have so many nice things. I quite like these pots as well, actually, for a little bunch of flowers or maybe in an office for pens and pencils. How much is that? Six pounds. They also have really nice faux plants in Matalan. Um, I really rate the quality of them. They are kind of pricey, £18 for that. Um, but they also have really nice pots to put them in and like baskets like that. Always see their candles and love the fact that it comes in like a glass cloche and glass base. That's pomegranate and cashmere, midnight silk and orchid. They are 30% off, so I am thinking maybe I should take the plunge. I also love the selection of plant stands they have. Again, they're not the most affordable. Actually, they're not too bad. £14 for a pretty big one. So, whoa, my tan has kicked in nicely. That's a good sign. So it's time to rinse off my tan, get in the shower, wash my hair. It is four o'clock and I think I'm going round to my friends at six. Oh my God, I look so tanned in this. It's definitely time to rinse this off. It's not as intense once I've rinsed it off, I promise. Um, so I have about two hours to get ready. I usually allow an hour for my hair in terms of washing it, drying it, styling it and then an hour for my makeup. Even though it never takes me that long, that's usually what I allow so that it gives me time to just, once I'm ready, maybe, I don't know, just, there's always last minute things that you realize that you then end up rushing. Anyway, I got this in the mail today, so I think I'm gonna use it on my hair. So I just thought I would show it to you before I get in the shower. This John Frieda Sheer Blonde Go Blonde Lightning Shampoo and Lightning Conditioner, which is handy. So I always use, I always do like double shampoo, especially when I'm going on a night out. So I have my purple shampoo, which I'll use first, and then those. 
And then there is also this Sheer Blonde Go Blonde Controlled Lightning Spray. This as well, the Go Blonde Lemon Miracle Mask strengthens fragile hair fibers before and after lightening with lemon oil. Okay, skincare time. Sorry if it's a bit echoey in here. It is obviously in the bathroom, so that is why. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I do have a little flick of mascara on. So this is my little skincare drawer, which definitely it needs a, a sort out and a clear out. In fact, I already got one of these out. Let's just pop that back in there. Um, so I take the Garnier Micellar Cleansing Water and just a bit, usually on two cotton pads, but one should be fine today because I've just got a tiny flick of mascara on. So I'm just gonna use this to remove that, but usually I use this same cotton pad to remove the uh, makeup on my brows as well, but I don't have any on at the minute. I've always been doing a second cleanse. This I simply use to essentially remove the main bulk of my makeup. And then I do find that after a second cleanse, um, that's when you really like make sure that everything is removed from your skin. So I'll just give it a quick once over with that wipe. And can you see a natural bit of contour that's been left there from the James Reed Tantor palette? So, this can go in the bin. And then what I do next is take my Foreo Luna 3, which some of you, if you're regular watchers, may have seen me talk about a few times over the last few months because I've been using it every single day. I absolutely love it. This particular device is called the Luna 3. Um, they do have different variants on their website. I'll leave a link to this one below. But essentially what it does is it uses the little ridges. Let me just go a bit closer so you can see. Can you see that? So I use all of this with some cleanser and then these ones I like to get right into the pores of my nose and my chin. And then I will use a cleanser, wet this brush, cleanse my face with this and it uses pulsations via the on off switch button on the back or via the app on the phone, which the fact that it uses smart technology is amazing. I just love and appreciate that little detail so much. So I'm just gonna open the app here. And once it's loaded up, I'll just show you another program that I like to use. So it is automatically synced up to my device. And then I don't use this on a, on a daily basis, but I mean, look at the battery power. Can I just say, I haven't charged this since I first got it and it's still got full power. And I'm sure it's not 100% full because I do use it every day. Um, but it lasts up to five months, which I think is incredible. So go to massage treatments and then you can have a selection of different massage options depending on what your desired outcome is which I just think is amazing, especially if you want that little extra pamper, which tomorrow, who knows if I've got a sore head, I might be using that. And the cleanser that I'm gonna be using today is one of my faves. This is the Elemis Pro Collagen Cleansing Balm. I have had this for so long and I feel like, I mean, I've definitely made a dent, but I haven't hit pan yet and I will be very sad once this goes. It smells so, so good. So I literally just dive in with my middle finger. Oh no, I've just touched the bottom. <laughs> just as I said that as well. So I get a fairly generous helping, I was gonna say, fairly generous um, amount on my middle finger and just kind of put it all over my face. Okay, I've probably got a bit too much there, but oh well. Hey ho, night out. Let's go a little bit extra tonight. So I'm just gonna pop that away and then I will sometimes use it and massage it in with my fingers a little bit before going in with the Luna 3, but today I'm just gonna go straight in with dampening my brush and then using the on off button on the back. You hear that? So for 60 seconds that is gonna pulse, which is going to feel amazing, first of all. Oh my God, it's such a luxury, honestly. I can't remember what it was like cleansing my face with just like my hands. Nowhere near as deep of a cleanse and it just, doesn't have that luxury kind of feeling to it either. This really does feel like you get right into the pores to really remove any excess makeup or dirt 
Oh, and it just feels so good. Amazing, so I'm gonna rinse the brush, rinse my face. To be completely honest with you, if I am about to have a shower, this is waterproof, so I'll just take it in the shower with me, but I don't really wanna take you guys in the shower with me. I'm just gonna run through my little makeup routine for a night out. So the first thing I start with is this Neod Photography Fluid. What I'll do is I'll try and leave links to everything in the description box. If you see anything you like, then uh, you can shop them in the description box via my links. So um, once I've applied that, it just gives a really nice sort of sheen to the skin. I then go in with a step that I don't typically do every day, and that's to pop a bit of concealer on first before I go in with any kind of foundation. So I just feel like it sets a nice, really easy base, and I just use the collection. Um, it used to be Collection 2000, didn't it? Collection in I think it's like the second to lightest shade and then I move on to my Le Mer I think it's called uh, reparative cream or something like that I'll leave it linked below but it's really really good I it's not classed as a foundation I don't believe but the coverage is just as good in my opinion and this shade is perfect for when I have tan on and then I'm going to go back in with my collection concealer and just basically use it to highlight and brighten under my eyes and down the center points of my face. And then I'm going to go in with a contour stick. This one is from Amazing Cosmetics which you can pick up in Marks and Spencers. And I just love the creaminess of it, it's so easy to blend. I use a Real Techniques blush brush to just blend that out and then it in the excess just kind of drag it on my forehead and down my nose and under my jawline. And then I just sort of deepen that with the Hoola bronzer using the brush that it comes with. And also ever so slightly, I'd say contour my nose, although it's not really properly contouring. And then again, using the Hoola bronzer itself on a fluffy brush, just kind of set that contour in place. And then I go in with my blusher, which is the NARS Orgasm, and then the Iconic London Illuminating Drops, which are my favorite go-to highlighter. I do tend to use these every day. And again, I just go down the center points of my face and my cheekbones. Using a setting powder now, I just kind of carve out that uh, contour and just set my under eye concealer. Kind of leave it at that. If I feel I need to put a bit more um, on my face then I will, but I do quite like the dewy sort of finish. And then I'm going in with it, one of the new Hourglass Brow Pencils. This is a super fine one in Soft Brunette. I absolutely love the formula of these. So I'm just gonna carve out one brow so you can see a bit of a before and after um, and sort of the, the result of just using the pencil. There you go, you can see that there. And then I'm just gonna set the brow hairs in place with a um, brow setting gel. And then going on to my eye makeup now, I pretty much just use one shade all over the lid and into the crease, which is a nice bronze shade. Sometimes I actually just use Hoola bronzer. And then I take a slightly darker brown just on the outer corner of my eyes and drag that under again. Keep blending it all out. And then I apply this Bobbi Brown Cream Eyeshadow, which is, oh my God, it's amazing. I use that both on the brow bone and in the inner corner of my eyes. Then I go in with this mascara. You can see the before and after of this Benefit mascara. It's so, so good. I really rate Benefit products anyway, but their mascaras in particular, I love. So I just apply that to both my top and bottom lashes. And then moving on to the lips. I am choosing today the lip liner from MAC in Strip Down. And then I found this old Kiko lipstick in number one, if that helps. <laughs> and then using the Anastasia Beverly Hills Dewy Set Spray to just finish off the makeup and just make it all stay in place. And then move on to my hair. So I'm gonna talk through a little bit more about what I do here, but you can just see that I'm drying it here. Okay, 
Okay, so now that my hair is all dry, it does take a while for my hair to dry, so I then judge it by how much time I've got left. I'd say I've got about an hour max <laughs> before I need to go, so now the next step is to curl my hair and actually style it. So I use these Babyliss curling tongs, curling wand. Um, it has a little thing here, but you can also just do it without this and wrap it around. You'll see what I do in a minute. Um, I just switch it on, go to the highest heat, 210, and essentially what I'll do is section by section, curl away from my face, and then kind of hold the curl to let it cool for a bit. And that is where I judge on timing, depending on how much timing I have left to get ready. I will, if I've got loads of time, I'll hold the curl and let it really cool down for a lot longer. I'll do it in smaller sections. So yeah, that kind of then has an impact on the result on how curly it is or how wavy it is. Okay, so this is the finishing spray I'm gonna be using today. This is the Maria Neela. And before I put that finishing spray on, I'll use some kind of oil. I have a little mini Moroccan oil up there, but I'm still currently using my System Professional Reconstructive Alexia. Okay, so moving on to my hair. Now that it's all dried, it doesn't dry naturally straight, but when I use the hairdryer, it's pretty straight. Um, I just take a first sort of section, the bottom section, brush it out and separate it into, I'm gonna say two to three sections per half, if that makes sense. Again, curling away from the face, I make sure that it's all sort of curled in one direction. I just really like the finish with it all being in one direction and I feel like if you have shorter hair, it does look quite nice in separate, like alternating directions, if that makes sense. But with long hair, I think it just falls quite nice when it's all in one direction. So I hold the curl in place once I have curled it with the heaters um, just to kind of like let it cool down a bit and then basically continue this on for the rest of my hair. Okay I'm actually just gonna now that I've styled my hair I just feel like I need a little more volume at the roots and what I do for that is I don't backcomb or anything so I don't want to damage my hair but also I, I don't mind a slightly sleeker look it doesn't have to be huge like back in the day when I used to backcomb it for a night out so I'm just going to take some dry shampoo this is the collab in the original fragrance and just put a little bit in my roots even though I've obviously only just washed it I do use dry shampoo for a little volume as well. Who's watching the Britain's Got Talent Champions? That's on tonight. So I'll probably catch up on that tomorrow at some point. Let me just show you from the back what the curls look like. I don't know if you can see there. So I'm gonna just use a little bit of the oil. I usually use one to two pumps. Warm it up in my hands and just run it through the ends of my hair where the actual curls are to just define them a little bit. Right now, what I do, so I just flip upside down. Oh no, it's running out. Show you from the back first what it looks like. So nice and voluminous I just need to get dressed which I'm not going to do until like the last minute pick my jewellery in fact I can do that now and then my perfume choice of oops choice of oh god <laughs> choice of perfume for the night will be my favourite combination which is the Jo Malone Mer and Tonka and I actually fragrance combine it with mimosa and cardamom this is a very nice deep autumnal scent. I feel like this is a nice winter and autumn. Oh my God, it's so good. Should I go something chunkier like that? Or do I just wear a little gold huggy? If I can find the hole. <laughs> so as I had an extra minute or two spare, I put on a bit of nail polish. This is the model's own 
Hyper Gel in shade Dare to Bear Deep Tan. This is only one coat and it's pretty decent. I'm going to also be popping on some of these. So I'm going to use that brush to put on some of this body illuminator all over my legs and like shoulder collarbones and arms as well. And then I kind of just set it a little bit with this luminous powder. And if I find I want an extra bit of sparkle, then sometimes I put on this. This is my finished look and we are on the phone, as you can tell in the mirror. We're on the phone now, so we may get a few clips out and about, but it, you know, it's my friend's birthday and all her family and everything's going to be there. So this is what I'm wearing, this little H&M blazer, the Opoly dress, the Primark heels, my Louis Vuitton bag, and let's go. It's like, oh, it's my Home sweet home. It's quarter to one and I'm still awake. Party animal that I am. So I'm really looking forward to chilling tomorrow with my boyfriend. Um, yeah, overall, really good night. So proud that I kept my dress white because there were a lot of people with red wine and rosé and you know when people get a bit too drunk and a bit too close to you with wine spilling here, there and everywhere and cocktails. I was a little bit like, ah! Um, but I kept it white. I don't know how people sleep in makeup. I just cannot do it. Even back in the day when I did I used to drink a lot more, like nights out at union stuff, I would always, always, always remove my makeup. I'm trying not to do it with an open mouth. <laughs> but it's so much easier to remove makeup on your eyes when you're like that. I'm definitely gonna be making myself some toast after this. <laughs> So I've got my PJs on, little midnight snack, done. But that sun is coming through the window. It's such a glorious day. I need to go pick up my car, which I left at the place that we went for food, which is in our village. It is 8.52, so I need to walk down and pick up my car. It's next to the spa and the spa's already open so I might grab some food for breakfast and then wait for Tom to get back. We are going to go to the cinema actually, I forgot about that. I went to see that Once Upon a Time in Hollywood, I think it's called, the new Tarantino. But I don't know what time it's on or what time he'll be back. So we shall see, I might just stop in actually. Just put a washing load on and just about to head out to go pick up my car, get some breakfast. I might treat myself to a nice sausage sandwich from Booth's this morning and a coffee. Um, I just sent a picture to Tom. He's en route back soon in this outfit. I said, I feel like something off Orange is the New Black, if anyone's seen it. You know what I mean? I feel like a all grey convict with a big like beige jacket. This is my comfy attire for the today. For the today. <laughs> for today. For the day. Uh, I got my Jack Wills joggers on which are so comfy, I live in these. Just got some Nike Juvenates on to walk to the car. This is a thrifted sweatshirt which is originally from The White Company, it's incredibly soft. And then this jacket is new from Princess Polly. So that is what I'm wearing today. Oh, sneak peek into Poundland's thrift video. No, Poundland's thrift, oh my god. <laughs> Poundland's DIY video. <sighs> Time to get coffee. <sighs> Here it is. Here's my car. I've only got this car for another couple of months and then I'm switching out for a new one. <sighs> I also treated myself to a much needed bacon roll, £2.35, and the coffee at Booth's is free. Can you see that 
So yep. <laughs> oh, the lost voice guy gets me every time. I'm making you watch Brit's Got Talent film clip now. Okay. This is what you need to watch. I'm not gonna show it on here, but just go and watch it. It's so good. This is the greatest show on earth. Can you guess, look at me. Can you guess the scent of it? No, 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 look at me. <laughs> Don't cheat. Sandalwood. What? Don't know. Did you say sandalwood? Yeah. It's a season. Autumn. Yeah, autumn harvest. You can actually see it on the vlog. It's glowing. So pretty. I'm actually going to get another one of those if I find another one because I really like that smell. Although, can you see the soot? I need to cut the wicks down. Mm. Is that what it is when that happens? Yeah, if the wick gets too long. Tom's got a theory that to avoid a hangover, what's your special drink concoction? It's hardly a special drink concoction, is it? Well, I would never think to drink it. A vodka soda? Are you mad? <laughs> vodka soda? I've no, I don't think I've ever had a vodka soda. I did have some soda water last night with lime. That was nice. And then I had an Aperol in Will's, which tasted weird. Mm. And I, they put too much Aperol in. It was very sweet. I like a little bit of Aperol, a good dry Prosecco, and is it soda water as well? No, I don't think so. Just, just Prosecco and Aperol? Alright. I'm not entirely sure of it. How many vodka sodas did you have? Oh my god. Well, I've no idea. I'll probably Five? Have a, I've had a bottle of vodka probably. <gasps> No, you'd be dead. <laughs> a whole bottle of vodka. I'm six foot five. Yeah, but that is a lot of vodka to consume when you're not really a drinker. I'm a big drinker. <laughs> no, you're not. I am biggest. No, you're not. If we go out for dinner, we have a Diet Coke each. Hang on. We do. You can't deny that. Vodka soda, apparently. No hangover, although... I'm tired. <laughs> I'm not hungover, I'm fine. I'm not hungover, I'm just tired. I'm quite in it like yeah. four. I couldn't sleep because I was full. Where's that picture you sent me? They went for food at 3.30 a.m. I don't know how you went to sleep on that. That's the thing, I couldn't sleep. Oh, could you not? So what time did you actually get to sleep in the end? It's a vodka. Oh, that Indian food. It's not Indian. What is it? Lebanese. Ugh. Oh. Looks Indian. So there's like chamois kebabs and stuff there. It's not just a kabida. A kabida? How do you know that? Because I'm just... I've literally never heard of the word kabida. You definitely have. No, I haven't. Anyway, this is getting me hungry now. Should we order some Chinese? If I could order that again now, I would... Oh my God, give it me right now. Oh. <laughs> then we've got about three Chinese just to pick from on the road. Yeah, Tom's, Tom's a foodie, so he's always disappointed with it. That one that we've ordered off the last two times you've liked. It's been all right. I'd like it if you had some other than lemon chicken, because it's pretty tricky. I like lemon chicken. It's not open. Sounds it open. Let's just try calling it anyway, you never know. Sounds it says open. It just says closed. Hi, can I order for delivery, please? Uh, you know, we open five o'clock, yeah? Five o'clock. Yeah, first TV, we are five. Okay, we'll call back then. You can order now if we want. Yeah, do Yeah, okay, we'll order now, please. Yeah, what do you want? Um, can we have one portion of lemon chicken? Yeah. With chips? Yeah. And, uh, what is it you want? Special Kung Po, but not Special the Kung Po, but not the battered version. Yeah, yeah. And fried rice, egg fried rice. Yeah, 
look at time. What time is it? 16.16. Oh, wow. That's so cool. It's not like it doesn't happen every day. Oh. No. <laughs> Just tired. I'm not exactly. Yeah. So if I have a 20 minute power, no, on that, that'll, the rest fair. of the evening will be even better. I hate it when Tom naps because I don't nap. Yeah, well, you can't just try it. I feel, I feel alone. When Before you met me, you didn't like Indian food, Chinese food. You didn't no, like... I did like Chinese food. No, you didn't. Chinese, I did. Did you? I've always had Chinese. All oh, right. What, it... did you, what did you used to get from the Chinese? I honestly very rarely had takeaways before I met you. Me and my mum and dad and George have probably had five takeaways as a family in my lifetime. We're more Mackie D's kind of people. Fuck me. It's depressing, isn't it? It's not. I like McDonald's. That is depressing, though. That's not depressing. Yeah. I would take McDonald's over... I like both. I like Chinese. I like Indian takeaway. I like the idea that takeaway brings to your house. So if we're in Manchester... We get to live I reckon. I'm not the biggest takeaway fan ever, am I? But I'm much Lies. Would we I have prefer... one every week. Would I prefer to go sit in wings or uh, not wings? Wing far. Mm. Um, wing yet. Yeah. Yeah, but that's a 45 minute drive to get there. It's well good though, isn't it? It is good. <laughs> wing yip in Manchester, if ever you've been, if you're a Chinese fan. It's so good. Our food has arrived. I discovered a new channel, of which I'm obsessed with already. I've already got tabs up with loads of her videos. Chelsea Bowen, uh, let me show you. She's made this cute little DIY pumpkin, which I'm gonna recreate, because I actually have this. Um, so I actually don't even need to go out and buy anything. In the beginning I just didn't know you're an enemy I held too close. Now I know. I'm going to end this week's vlog here because this is our plan for the rest of this evening. We're just going to wallow in our full bellies. And I got some chocolate. <laughs> this is not just the best Sunday ever. It would have been better if we'd have gone for a nice country walk this morning and if you'd have been here all day. Mm, I didn't have to get a train from London or drive. Yeah, there. that bit was a pain for you. Should we check the cricket scores for you? No, let's not check the cricket scores. Yeah, cricket scores.